Hey friends, so you already know, nothing quite breaks your heart like having expectations in situations where you don't have control of the outcome. In other words, with other people. You expect them to appreciate when you show up for them. You expect them to care about you the way you care about them. You expect you from them and they don't deliver that. This was a lesson that I needed to learn in the past. I expected people to be, I don't know, better, to be kind, to not do me dirty, especially when I had bent over backwards for them time and time again. And when I started to see the writing on the wall the and glimpses of who they really are, I stuck around anyway, hoping things would change, hoping that if I just kept trying harder, they would see my worth and not want to lose me. But why the hell would they see my value when I clearly didn't see it myself? Because if I had, then I wouldn't have given chances that weren't earned and I would have maintained my dignity better by walking away when it was clear that I needed to. For me personally, and maybe you can relate too, it all came down to expectations. I expected more from people because I thought I was a much better judge of character than I actually was. It wasn't as much that people let me down by not being who I thought they were, it's that I had them up too high to begin with. When I stopped doing that, when I stopped expecting anything at all from anyone, I started noticing who was actually real with me versus who was, well, not. Who really showed up for me and who didn't. Whose words were bond and whose were not. Who wasn't ready for the all-in level of what I give to others, whether it be a friendship or anything else, and who was ready to receive that? Who talked a good game versus who actually played it along with me, helping me up when I fumbled instead of figuratively tripping me? So managing me, my managing my own expectations by just not really having them was life-changing. I came to realize that, you know, I spent a lot of time doing things I didn't need to and stretching myself in ways I shouldn't have because it made no difference in the outcome of certain situations. You don't have any control over what others do. And as such, you can't make them do right by you when you have done right by them. If they do not see that on their own, then giving them more of what they already don't give a shit about is not going to transform that. You have to see people for who they really are, meaning who they show you they are, not who they claim to be. And you certainly cannot see them for who you wish they were. We all want to see the best versions of our people, right? The versions who are good friends, good partners, good whatevers. But with some people, that's just not the space they are in. And like I have said many times, you have to meet people where they are, friends, and sometimes you've got to leave them there too because you only have control over you and what you do. You cannot force them to do the right thing or be better or be kinder or be anything that they don't want to be. You are spending your energy trying to give people credit that frankly, they may not deserve. How do you know when you are ready to grow away from this kind of thinking and stop giving people more credit than they are actually due? when you have started making yourself more of a priority. When you look back at the past and are, for lack of a better word, disgusted with the things you put up with. When you stop seeing someone's lack of effort as an invitation to try harder. When you stop entertaining shallow connections with people who don't actually give a shit about you unless you have something to offer them. When you start saying no, when that's your real answer. When you let people lose you when you stop allowing people who don't truly value you to define your worth or who you are. Inner work is hard, I won't lie to you. And when you do it, I mean really do it, you have to eventually distance yourself from people who have not done theirs or are not willing to. Because when you don't, you are doing the equivalent of trying to ride a bicycle that's chained to a lamppost. You will be just spinning your wheels. You can't expect to get anywhere in that situation and you can't expect to get anywhere with people who have that whole the version of me you thought I was is not my responsibility mindset. That is such a cop out. I'm not sure what you even say to that. Sorry, my bad for thinking you were a better person than you are.
congrats on your commitment to being an a-hole, I guess. Anyway, the moral of the story here is you can't make anyone do anything or be anything that they aren't ready to be. You also cannot save anyone from themselves or, or make them live up to their potential or stop them from self-sabotaging. Trying can be absolutely crazy making. Ultimately, it's on them to fix themselves, to do the right thing, to be kind, to be appreciative, to be good to the people who are good to them, and so on. There is nothing you can do to make them a better person, and that's why when it's time to make a choice on who that person is to you, you've got to let your expectations go, and sometimes them too. That's all I've got for you this week. I'll be back next week with another priority message. Until then, take good care of yourselves. Bye.